Okay, that's enough because otherwise I'm actually gonna get sued for rights. <laughs> How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Clutchy Joe coming on over with another review. And this one has actually been long awaited on my personal level. I have actually been wanting to get this uh figure for quite a for quite a while, basically since it was actually announced. And this is the Storm Collectibles one tool scale Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Now this is a very very amazing figure and uh this review is actually coming complete with uh custom um some custom parts um basically i ended up ordering some shirts from a seller on ebay which uh kind of made this review complete you will see what is it that i mean as soon as you guys actually see it so anyways let's go on with the review now all right the first thing that you're actually going to notice is that Right off the bat, you're actually going to get to see Hulk Hogan right here, or Hollywood Hogan as they are actually going, as he's actually going by right here on the WCW and WWO years. And right here on the side, you do end up getting a real cool picture of Hollywood Hogan. It's actually pretty cool. Right here on the back, you do end up getting to see Hollywood Hulk Hogan again. He looks amazing. You also end up getting to see right here the accessories along with the figure itself. And you can also see the many looks of Hulk Hogan. Right here, another look of Hollywood Hulk Hogan. At the very top, you actually get to see Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I'm sorry. The Hollywood Hogan um, logo along with Hollywood Hogan's um, factory pressed um, autograph. And right here at the bottom, you just get to see Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Now, what's actually awesome about this packaging is that it, they literally put the Ringside Collectibles exclusive logo onto the package. So, it's not necessarily a sticker. It is a package. Um, it's actually already included onto the package. So, you get to see how special this thing is. Anyways, let's crack this guy open and take a look at the accessories. And that we will get to see the big man himself. Okay, so for accessories, what you end up getting is the Hollywood Hulk Hogan weightlifting belt, which is actually pretty cool. It's made out of soft plastic. I will show you how to take it off and how to put it on. It was actually a pain because I didn't necessarily know how to do that in the beginning. You also end up getting the Hollywood Hogan bandana, which is actually pretty cool. Let's see if I could actually show it to you. Now... It doesn't have a lot of detail as you get to see it just looks um like a regular bandana the one thing to note is that the hollywood logo is actually painted um it was actually painted a little bit more on over to this one side instead of it being very centered i think it might have been just like a default um a defect from mind but be on the lookout you also get these hollywood hulk hogan gripping hands which are actually pretty cool if you get to see them they actually come out to be pretty perfect and to hold on to a lot a lot of things uh, more specifically uh, the weight lifting belt and uh, another feature that I'm actually going to show you is glasses which are actually pretty cool now right here you're not necessarily going to get a chance to see it but what is so awesome about these is that you can literally see right through them if you put these under direct light, he also comes with his uh, with his cross pendant, which is actually pretty cool. It's uh, made out of soft, pliable plastic. You also want to get in the Hollywood Rules little um, overshirt, I guess I could call it because it can't be a T-shirt, right? I mean, it doesn't have the T-shape or anything like that, so it could be called an overshirt. And you also want to get into the Hollywood Hogan stand, so it's actually pretty cool. It's not, it, do, it doesn't have a lot of detail or anything like that, but you don't need it. Big, bold, white letters, that's pretty much all that's needed for this kind of figure. And it's actually pretty cool. Now, let's look. Now, how about we end up looking at the figure himself? And here is Hollywood Hulk Hogan out of the packaging. Now this thing is actually pretty amazing. Uh, you get to see all the detailing and everything that has actually been done. Storm Collectibles is very nice into actually putting detail. And believe you me, this thing ends up having a lot of detail. 
One thing that th there are a couple gripes that I end up having about this figure. It's not 100% perfect, but it's the closest thing to perfect that it could possibly ever get for a small 112 inch wrestler. Anyways, so let's look at the paint. Uh, let's look at the paint apps then. Okay, so the first thing that you will get to notice is the Hollywood Hulk Hogan face. The beard is actually pretty cool because it's faded in. Uh, you will get to see that Hulk Hogan does end up having his uh, dark dark brown da um, near black eyebrows. You get to see that his mustache does, um, the mustache paint apps actually do end up being very accurate. Because Ho Hollywood Hogan at this time wasn't necessarily dyeing his... Uh, Mustache one hundred percent. He did end up leaving some dark on the top. Also, you end up getting to see his hair, which is actually pretty cool, and it's well painted. Right here, the camera's not necessarily picking up on the detailing, but let's see if we could actually fix that. All right, there we go. The detail is actually pretty good. It's actually superb, which is um. It's something that Mattel hasn't actually been able to do, and that is actually give it more of a wash on over to the hair, so it does end up having some. It does end up having some depth, and that is the one thing that I actually like about this figure. Oh my God! It's a Hogan torso. No, this thing is actually removable, and it's actually pretty cool. It's a nice feature that actually comes into play with the belt. Now, you will get to see that there are a little bit of um. There's paint rubbing right here, and the whole reason why was because the belt is actually mm, there real tight. So as soon as I moved it, I got to see that yes, it does end up having some paint, um, some paint rub on. So don't actually fret; it is normal. I think that you could actually take it off by um, cleaning it with some soap. I don't know; I haven't necessarily done that yet. And you get to see on the torso. Uh, it's actually very well detailed also as well. He doesn't end up having that muscular build, but it's not as ripped as like, let's say, um, the Mattel figures, which they are way too ripped up. All of them end up having a super, super defined six pack, which is just ridiculous. Right here, you also end up getting to see that he ends up having some nipples, which you don't get to see on wrestlers, you know, let's be honest. And on over to the back. Uh, yeah, I did this, uh, you, I wasn't necessarily careful, and it kind of rubbed, I think I'll be able to clean it up with some, um, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to have to clean it up, but either way, you get to see the detailing right here, um, it's not, it doesn't have any, um, black wash or anything like that, so don't worry about it. But you do end up getting to see that there is detailing over here on the arms. You get to see the veins that are actually popping out. Which is typical for Storm collectibles because they are able to pay attention to even the veins. The uh, muscular definition and everything. Also right here in the eyes. The eyes actually do end up, um, they do end up glistening which is actually pretty cool. Again, you don't get to see that on a lot of figures. Usually, they end up giving kind of like a flat paint. That's actually pretty cool. Right here on the mouth, you actually get to see his greeting teeth. And it's actually pretty perfectly done. So, anyways, enough about this. Let's look at the lower torso. The lower torso is actually pretty cool because it ends up having the Hollywood logo right here along with some um, lightning bolts. Now, when they ended up putting the paint that on over to this they kind of made it to the um it's not bad but it doesn't end up looking like it ends up having kind of like a green wash i don't know if the camera's actually picking that up if it is then that is exactly how it looks uh over here you also end up getting to see the uh lightning bolt coming on down and it's actually pretty cool you get to see that these were actually just uh put on and i don't i think that they were just uh water transferred onto these things it's not a problem it's not a problem at all for me because uh, well either way i'm getting a hollywood hogan so yay right here you also want to get in the hollywood hogan um 
the Hollywood Hogan mug right here, along with his bandana that says Hollywood, and the blue flames, which are real, real nice. And you're getting to see from shades of light blue to dark blue to sky blue, everything is actually pretty good. Now, the one thing that people are actually going to see if they, they're going to have a little bit of a gripe with is the Hogan name right here. And for copyright purposes, we can't, um, Storm couldn't get the uh, rights to the NWO. Uh, the NWO logo that is a WWE brand and uh, this is not a WWE licensed product so yeah you're not gonna get to say something like that but anyways so let's put this guy back together and I'll show you actually you know what I'll show you right now the reason why is that I actually put and take the torso off on this um beautiful figure is because of this belt now the problem about this belt is that once you take it off, it is a pain to actually put together, and you can't put it together um, just like that. It's frustrating. You have to stretch it out. You have to do so much, and in the end, it just doesn't work. So what I end up doing is that if I ever unlodge it, I just end up putting it pressure. I just close it down, which for some weird reason here on the camera, it's not necessarily doing that let's see that's one and here's the other i told you it's a pain okay so here we are it's a waist belt it's actually intact it's actually pretty cool now what i do is that i just end up putting it on the torso i just slip it onto the torso on over to an angle which i think that would actually work pretty well it doesn't necessarily matter because in the end once we put it on, connect it on over to the lower torso, well then, uh, it's basically going to be jiggling around. Also, this diaper right here, ah, this is actually perfect because it actually gives you real good articulation and it doesn't limit the legs at all because it's a T-joint right here, as you can see on the inside. It's actually perfect, but the problem about that is that when you connect these together, and you should hear the click. There we go. There is an insane amount of gappage. Also, when you're actually bringing the belt down, um, this diaper thing actually kind of interferes with um, how good it's actually going to look. So you have to um, angle it real well in order for everything to actually be picked up real well. Once it's actually put together and angled, it's actually perfect, and voila! Okay, so now let's look at the articulation. Articulation is actually pretty awesome right here. You end up getting double-jointed double jointed elbows, which is actually perfect because now he's actually able to close his arm that much, giving you more or less a one... No, not a 180 degree, but more like a... Yeah, well, it, it closes up pretty well, all right? Uh, 360 degree upper bicep swivel, which I'm not going to do because this figure is actually pretty cool. And I don't want to mess around with the paint job anymore. Uh, his shoulders are able to open up that much. He also ends up having a, butter, a butterfly joint right here on the shoulders, which is actually pretty cool because this thing is actually made out of soft, um, soft plastic. So he is able to come up about that much. Come on, look at the camera, dude. He's able to open up about that much. So I'm giving you a whole range of articulation right here. The head is actually able to look up about that much. It's not a lot. He's able to look down that much. And so it's actually pretty cool. His hands are actually easily swappable. They end up having a uh, socket right here, which are actually pretty, which is actually pretty awesome. You just end up putting it in and out, and it's a socket hinge, so it's actually pretty good. Before, um, for those of you that wanted to know, yes, the wrist, the wrist tip is actually removable, giving you the old school Hollywood Hogan thing the what's called Hollywood Hogan look 
And yes, he used to come on like that. He ends up having an um, upper torso, upper upper torso. Ugh. <laughs> you get an upper torso swivel, swivel, and you get a lower torso swivel. I'm sorry, you get a. Upper and lower torso rocker joint, which is actually pretty cool. His legs are all able to do the full splits, like if he was Scorpion and Sub Zero. They're able to kick up about that much until the diaper actually starts becoming a, an issue. And he's a, he's not able to kick up. Oh, well, actually, he is able to kick out a good amount. But again, that diaper, you know, and he's actually pretty cool. Ends up having double jointed knees. And right here, he feels like if he ends up having a yes ankle pivot and toe articulation so he's actually pretty good real good a uh, real good articulation right here it's actually pretty awesome having to see a wrestling figure with this much articulation anyways so let's do some quick size comparisons and then after that i'll just give you my overview okay and as you can see here he is standing next to the Mattel Elite Ringside Exclusive Brock Lesnar. Yay, another Ringside Exclusive. And as you can see, they're both pretty well built. Does he actually fit in the same um in the same scale as these figures? Yes. The uh biceps are one thing that I was actually kind of worried about. But standing next to Brock Lesnar, it actually works real well, as you get to see. Anyways, here he is standing next to the Mattel um, Defining Moments Holly, I mean, Hulk Hogan, the Immortal One from the 1980s. And as you get to see, the scaling is a bit off. And that is because this guy is ridiculously buff in comparison to this guy. Uh, it's not a bad thing. When you end up um when you end up taking a, uh, in under consideration this is a completely different company, but you do get to see the tremendous size difference, and not only that, but also the worksmanship is also apparent. As you get to see right here, Hogan Hollywood Hogan's arms are just way too big in comparison to the nineteen eighties Hulk Hogan, and again, like I said, the the worksmanship and the paint detail is just way too much to even compare with this Hogan. Anyways, let's go into scale with yet another big wrestler. Here he is standing next to the Mattel Elite, Andre the Giant. And you get to see the tremendous size difference between the two wrestlers. I think that the scale is actually perfect on these. You actually do get to see that Hulk Hogan is... Pretty small in comparison to Andre the Giant, but again, the arms of this Hogan, even though Andre the Giant is so big, the arms do not compare to Hulk Hogan. I'm sorry about the shaky cam. Uh, but yes, as you get to see, the scale is very, 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 very accurate. The again, the detailing and the worksmanship is just way too great to be compared to. The, Anything that Mattel ends up having. And just for giggles, here he is standing next to the Target exclusive Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 9. And as you get to see, WrestleMania 9 Hogan is way too scrawny to be compared to this Hogan. Uh, way too ripped. And again, like I said, this is actually becoming the norm for Mattel figures. All wrestlers wouldn't be named Clutzy Joe. If something stupid didn't happen. Anyways, 
as you get to see all the wrestlers that are actually coming out they have to be either really ripped or really jacked up overall i think that this is uh, the definitive hulk hogan figure for your collection you can't necessarily end up having these two uh mattel figures and feel like if you have actually completed the whole series um anything that has to do with hulk hogan obviously i end up there were some other Hulk Hogan figures that were released, but because I actually grew up with these two, I actually needed to get these. And there is no collection complete without the NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Now, this shirt that you're seeing right here, the ripped up shirt, it isn't necessarily a shirt that came with Hulk Hogan. Uh, these shirts were actually made by a friend of mine by the name of Ryan Pei. I'm actually going to see if I can actually... Put the link on the description below. These two, this shirt actually, he custom made this one for me. And the design is already now um, saved up on eBay. He actually has it up. It, a real good price. The shirts are of pretty good material. However, I do have to tell you this. And this is of no fault for Ripe himself or me. But the thing is that for this figure, um, yeah, there's an issue with these shirts. Now, these shirts are actually meant for these figures, okay? And I will say this again. These shirts are actually made for the Elite figures, okay? And if you put them on the Elite figures, it's actually perfect. These shirts actually go real well, and you will actually love it. However, for this figure, specifically Hulk Hogan, I mean, for this Hollywood Hogan, as you can see, the chest, the chest is a little bit, um, the chest has actually been, um, uh, what, what's the perfect word for this one? What has been marked? Uh, I think that you can actually say, um, call it as been, the black has actually rubbed in on the rubber. And again, this is a rubber upper body, and I didn't take that under consideration when I ordered these. Now these, now again, I will say this, these shirts are actually perfect for the Mattel Elite figures or Jack specific figures, whichever one you wish. But for this specific figure, because of the rubber body, I mean the rubber upper body, it's actually kind of complicated to think that it would be perfect. Either way, I would actually recommend you checking everything out of um, the shirts that Red Pay ends up having. If you are going to get the NWO shirt, the NWO shirt it actually does look good. Of course, as I said, I had to customize this shirt so that I could actually have them in this pose. But I will say that do be careful with these because these, if, um, if you do end up rubbing, if you do end up putting a lot of stress, it will rub the, the, it will rub on the rubber and it'll cause a stain like this. So do be careful. Anyways, this is Letty Joe signing off. And I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this review. And as always, take care.